my community took a hell of a beating. Some people were. Ray Sheremy is a cattleman in Lafouche Parish. People in his community are not the only ones displaced from Hurricane Ida, the Category 4 hurricane that tore through the region. Livestock are scattered across the state or stranded out of reach. That's true of these cattle in his pasture holding about 50 cows and 40 calves. I need to move them. I cannot get to them because the road to get to them is so cluttered up with humongous big trees. I'm going to have to get in there with a chainsaw and, and cut it up, move it. And, and then move them into a, a different pasture a little bit further from here. Those cows stayed at least four nights that they could not lay down unless they were laying down in water. Now it's starting to dry up, it's still wet, but they can lay down and not be in standing water. My biggest concern is uh, the water to drink. All that grass is rotten, the grass stinks, the water stinks. And I'm concerned that they might get sick by drinking that nasty water. He was able to move the cattle from this pasture through almost four feet of water. This field was some of Sheremy's best hay crop he was preparing to cut, a hard reality in a year with so little hay on hand. That's a need friends from across the country and right up the bayou are working to meet. Ashley Petrie is the president of the LaBouche Parish Cattlemen's Association. She's been helping coordinate with local farmers like Sheremy to keep their cattle fed and cared for. She says truckloads of hay like this one from Texas are extremely important to keep livestock alive, but hay is only the beginning of the recovery for the industry in this region. We've got lots of fences to repair. Um, our grass, of course, as you can see, is going to die. That comes from all the salt water pushing in in certain areas and then all the rainwater that we got. However, we had uh, winds of up to 130 miles an hour that were sustained for 12 hours. So we got it all the way up by Lafouche. Um, so we have fencing damage there. It's all throughout Terrebonne, Lafouche, St. John, St. Charles. And that's, that's the areas that we're focusing on relief right now. Uh, and they, they too have cattle stranded. So the immediate need for hay and feed, it's, it's right now. It, it's not long term and it's just so that we can relocate those animals and get them what they need. In Raceland, I'm Carl Wiggers for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. The Louisiana Farm Bureau Livestock Advisory Committee has reinstated its hay clearing house. Now, if you have hay that you would like to donate or if you are in need of hay, you can find a link on our website, twilighttv.org. And I know some of you might not have full internet access right now. You can also call this phone number, area code 225-922-6200. Again, 922-6200 with a 225 area code and someone there will be able to help you out.